Every five years, Europeans go to the polls to decide who they want to represent them in the European Parliament. Reflecting Europe's vast human mosaic, those elected come from many different backgrounds and political ideologies. The 751 MEPs make up Europe's directly elected political body, representing more than a half billion people across 28 countries. In the last four European elections of 1999, 2004, 2009 and the last one in 2014, the European People's Party prevailed each time as the leading political force in the Parliament. So how does the EPP group represent voters in what is a very complicated political landscape? In this video, we'd like to show you how the EPP group works in the Parliament by walking you through the process step by step. It's a process that takes place here in Brussels. And here in Strasbourg, the official seat of the European Parliament. The EPP group is the main political force here in the Parliament, with more than 220 members from 27 of the member states. Members of the EPP family lead the two other main institutions of the European Union. Donald Tusk is President of the European Council, while Jean-Claude Juncker is President of the Commission. Here in the European Parliament, the chairman of the EPP group is Manfred Weber. He's assisted by a presidency, a bureau and working groups on issues ranging from agriculture to economics, from environment to regional policy. At the very top of the EPP group is the presidency, and it's meeting right behind me. It's composed of the chairman of the EPP group and 10 vice chairs who head working groups and other parliamentary activities. Those include budget and structural policies, economy and environment, home and legal affairs, foreign affairs, communication strategy, parliamentary work, relations with national parliaments, neighborhood policy, Euro-Mediterranean dialogue, and a think tank called the European Ideas Network. The Presidency is the main decision-making body of the EPP group. Together with the heads of national delegations and others involved in the Parliament's functions, they make up what's called the Group's Bureau. Now let's see how it all works. This is the main group meeting room where members get together regularly to discuss the key issues on the agenda. They look at the intricacies of the various amendments and how they're actually going to vote on them. The devil is indeed in the details. Here in Strasbourg, members discuss how to vote on legislation in the plenary. The group's authors of the proposed laws explain the proposed amendments and of course the state of play of the negotiations with the other political forces. Reaching these decisions is not easy. It involves building consensus within the group, taking into account sensitivities in different member states and strongly held views of individual members. And it involves working with other political groups to finalize legislation. Once the legislation is approved by the EPP group, as well as by the other political groups, it goes to the plenary to be debated and voted on. But how and where does it all begin? And what are the intricacies of the legislative process? Joining us is Lara Comey, Vice Chairwoman of the EPP Group. Ms Comey, can you walk us through the process? Al Parlamento discutiamo e approviamo molte leggi che interessano la vita quotidiana dei cittadini. Pensate che l'80% delle leggi qui approvate devono essere recepite in 28 stati membri. So, considering all that's at stake, it must be a showdown at times here. Oh, dipende da quanto è complicato e controversa la legge che viene proposta. And, and how does it all start? Where does it all start? Ma la Commissione propone una, un aspetto legislativo anche su iniziativa dei cittadini, del Parlamento europeo, degli Stati membri, della Banca Centrale Europea e della Banca Europea degli Investimenti. Una volta che la proposta arriva in Parlamento gli viene affidato un responsabile. Quella persona ascolta e incontra le parti coinvolte e negozia con gli altri partiti, formula un rapporto e lo presenta alla Commissione parlamentare per la discussione e il voto. Poi a sua volta anche tutto il Parlamento, quindi la plenaria, voterà su quel rapporto. Se approvato, il testo è inviato al Consiglio dei Ministri, ovvero i governi degli Stati membri. Se loro lo approvano, diventa legge. Se lo respingono, è rinviato al Parlamento e alla Commissione. E ricominciamo da capo per una seconda lettura. Tutte le decisioni sono prese a maggioranza qualificata. Se c'è disaccordo anche nella seconda lettura, 
Guarda, io penso sia un caso veramente eccezionale, è successo una volta sola molto probabilmente. I rappresentanti del Parlamento e del Consiglio si siedono in un comitato di conciliazione per trovare una posizione comune. Il risultato è votato dal Parlamento per la terza volta senza emendamenti. Se approvato diventa legge, altrimenti la proposta decade. Non è un processo semplice, ma il nostro obiettivo è quello di ascoltare tutte le varie opinioni e le varie idee, perché una volta che la legge viene approvata è valida in tutta l'Unione Europea. E è un processo in cui il EPP Group ha un ruolo importante come la più grande forza nell'European Parliament. Europe's elected body representing and defending the interests of the EU's more than 500 million citizens.